Hi, Flosstube. Hi, Flosstube. I'm Pam. And I'm Stephanie. And this is Just, Just Keep, Keep Stitching, Stitching, episode 91. 45 plus 40 plus 6 is 91, I think. Cause okay. Math. You better check her. Whatever. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to episode 91, everybody. Yeah. Hi, everybody. Hello. Welcome back. Thanks for stopping in. We're here. We're here. We we're home. Be, we might be late, but we're here. We're home from our uh, latest adventure. Our excursion. And uh, we want to um, say hi to anybody who's just found us. Mm -hmm. I gotta get mint rid of in your the, mouth. I gotta get rid of this mint. Okay, so I'll talk for a second. Okay. So I just want to say hi and welcome to our channel. As you can um, tell, she has hardly any. <clears throat> yep. So I talked a lot this weekend. Shocker. Um and. So, my voice is better than it was yesterday, which is better than the day before, but it's still kind of, like, weird, so sorry about that. Right. Um, but at least I'm not like this, so. Yeah, yeah. She can talk. I can talk, as you all know. Right. Um, what were you going to say? I was just going to tell them that, um, so, you all know, because you're seeing this in the middle of the week, that this is a late video. Um, because we were at the Frugal Yankee Floss Tube Weekend, which was a uh, retreat that was put on by Lynette at Homesteading on the Home Front. And um, when I was describing it to people that don't stitch, um, I was saying that it was kind of like the New England contingent. Yeah. Plus us. Plus us. Yeah. So uh, we're going to talk a lot about our retreat right. experience. So and that's what this video is mostly going to be about. We're also going to announce our giveaways are six giveaways for crossing the 6,000 subscriber threshold mm -hmm. and um, it probably will not include this episode will probably not include mail call it definitely will not include mail no, call I not. should say that yeah um, and uh, we want to thank everybody for their patience waiting us waiting for us to recoup from mm -hmm. our latest retreat we're home now for all intents and purposes until um, August. we uh, head north uh, to Wisconsin in August mm -hmm. for um, World Cross Stitch Day and more about that uh, in the future. Yes. Uh, of course, we will we'll be at the hotel for StitchCon, but that's right in town. And, right. You know, I mean, I got to pack a suitcase, but like... We're going to pack a suitcase. I'm going to sit in the car for We aren't hours. going... <laughs> yeah, we aren't going far. Right. So... Um, Welcome back. Thanks for visiting with us. Mm -hmm. um, and let's start by talking about the retreat. Well, you got to talk about this first. Oh, um, we were we did leave you in because we did leave in the pants, 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 Pam's pinned comment, um, and we've pinned it to the top of how many comments did we have? Over five hundred. Yeah, just about five hundred. Over 500 comments because of the giveaway, which is great, fantastic. And um, I simply could not um, pick a favorite of those 500s, uh, 500 comments. Uh, but one of our super fans, and she's a super floss tube fan, not just of us, mm -hmm. but of many, many floss tubers. And um, I decided that in the interest of... Um, Acknowledging her great comments, her funny comments, uh, Every week. regular comments. Every week. I think she might be caught up finally. Um, and uh, it's our friend Marcy, and many of you know her. Many of you have met her in person at retreats. And um, I simply cannot read her comment without uh, crying. Yeah, so, I can't either. I tried. Yeah, we, we rehearsed it, and we, could, we can't get through it. Mm -mm. So it's just very, very sweet. So if you would like to... Read the count, the pin comment. Mm -hmm. Go back to last week's video, okay. and just look at the very very top. It's pinned, mm -hmm. and it stays pinned. And, Forever, um, never, never. We thank Marcy most sincerely, mm -hmm. and uh, can't wait to see her in a couple of months at StitchCon, yeah, uh, where we met her for the first time. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's Pam's pin comment from last week's video. But I want to say before we get into the Frugal Yankee stuff. Um, on that whole comment thing is that you all are the best. 
So um, amazing. We asked last week that you comment on last week's video and say like what your favorite thing is, and you all are really nice. Yes. So mm -hmm. yes. So thank you all so much for your really nice, beautiful comments. We love yes. them all. Yes. Uh, it kind of uh, brought back some oh things my gosh, we had forgotten memories. about. There were a lot of repeats. There were a lot of um, there were a lot of things that went way, way, way back that we um, between the two of us we'd forgotten about. Yep. Um, and She's like, when did I say that? <laughs> yeah, I was like episode twelve. Yeah, but um, thanks for everybody's comments, mm -hmm. and uh, we'll get to how they worked into the giveaway for mm -hmm. six thousand yeah. um, later on in the episode. Yeah. Uh, let's talk about Frugal Yankee. As let's. Stephanie said, it was organized and set up by Lynette mm -hmm. at Homesteading on the Homefront mm -hmm. on Floss Tube. Um, as most of you know, uh, she does a Floss Tube with her two daughters, and uh, both of them were there. Um, and about uh, 30 uh, stitchers, mm -hmm. some Floss Tubers. Uh, about a third of them. About a third tubers. were floss tubers from mm -hmm. New England. Um, we will, uh, I think, um, include the links to oh, everybody's yeah, channel in the description box. So I wrote down, well, we'll talk about all the different channels and stuff yeah. later, but yeah. Right. Some folks we had met uh, in person. Yep. Uh, a few that had been at StitchCon last year. Mm -hmm. um, several we knew only through floss tube, mm -hmm. and it was an absolute blast. Yeah. To meet them in person. Yeah. Um, we felt like we'd known them um, forever, forever uh, including Lynette and and the rest of um, the floss tubers that were there. Yeah. Uh, there was also a good contingent of New England stitchers that are active on Instagram mm -hmm. and uh, some who um, uh, do neither, but are just great, wonderful people. Yeah, for sure. Um, we left uh, Thursday morning. We did. Uh, last week. Mm -hmm. Because generally in my uh, in my older years, I do not do that trip full bore like I used to. Mm -hmm. um, so we have a... Because um, Pam drives. We have a, a pretty uh, standard procedure of... Um, spending the night in Syracuse, New York, right yep. off the New York Thruway, mm -hmm. and that's what we did. Yep. And um, we decided as we got uh, off the Mass Pike to head to the retreat that we would make a pit stop mm -hmm. to a shop that has uh, been closed for a while, relocated. Uh, there are very few shops, unfortunately, in New England. Yeah. And this is one that uh, hopefully will keep going. Uh, and it is Bush Mountain Stitchery. And framing. And framing. Yeah. Many of you, I think, have used uh, that shop for uh, mail orders. Yeah, they as, have a really active Facebook group, too. As have we uh, used it for mail order. And we have uh, been a part of their Facebook group as well. Yep. So um, we got off uh, the exit closest to that shop. And um, Which spend in, some time there. The shop is in North Brookfield, Massachusetts. Right. For anyone that's wondering, I got a couple questions when I on an yes. Instagram post, and we got off the Mass Pike at the Palmer exit. And right. The shop used to be located in Palmer, but about three or four weeks ago, they kind of had like emergency flooding, and so they had to relocate very quickly right, right. before market. And there's still a little, you know, they they've got some organizing to do because right. market happened in the middle of everything. Right. And, uh, but we had a delightful time mm -hmm. and, uh, we got a lot of stuff. We did. Um, I'll show you later. and we're going to show that in our hall section. Mm -hmm. Um, we then proceeded to go, uh, to Westford, Massachusetts. Mm -hmm. And, um, mm -hmm. Lynette had gotten permission from the hotel that we were all able to basically, um, commandeer the common area mm -hmm. right around the corner from the check-in desk yeah it was a residence inn right and so like their breakfast area was quite large they had like a really long table with chairs on either side of it which was like perfect for us i think mm -hmm. like close to 20 people could sit at that table which is like a lot right and then there were tables and stuff around that big long table that everyone sat at so yeah it was nice right plus um 
Plus, the um, hotel was uh, especially accommodating since they're undergoing um, some renovation right now. So yeah, getting ready, sure. I'm sure, for the summer season. For sure. So um, the, <clears throat> the um, group that had arrived was very welcoming and um, very excited to meet us as we were to meet them. Yes. And um, we uh, uh, did a kind of a potluck. Uh, crock, pot crock pot friday right. uh friday night right mm -hmm. in this common kitchen area which was fantastic was perfect everybody brought great food oh uh salads and baked beans and ham and, and pulled pork and macaroni and and cheese pulled pork and mac whoopie and cheese pies. whoopie pies oh and goodness. uh it was just awesome it was just awesome yeah so we did that friday night which was a great mixer and yeah, um awesome. Uh, a bit uh, a um, opportunity to um, chit -chat. sit and chit chat mm -hmm. and uh, figure out uh, who's who and yeah. all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. So and then um, so that was Friday mm -hmm. and then so she called it the Frugal Yankee because it was like a no frills kind of retreat. So um, and then Saturday we um, we woke up and um, then. So the breakfast, like they serve a hot breakfast at the hotel. So it's kind of like we all went down and had breakfast together. And then we just kind of waited until like the rest of the guests of the hotel were kind of out of the public dining area. And which was over at 1030. And so then we brought our stitching back down. Um, and we had on Saturday morning, we had our smalls exchange, which we'll show you all the things that we got, um, which was really cool. And um, so it was cool because... You just picked a small and then you had to like decorate or package it or wrap it or whatever in like the theme. So if you did a Christmas piece, then it should be in like red and green or whatever. Um, and so that way that like when your number got called, then you just went up and you like, okay, well, I kind of want a Christmas thing. And then you pick a Christmas like that. Right. So, to speak. so that was on Saturday morning and that was super amazing and fun. Yeah. About mid morning on Saturday, mm -hmm. we did our smalls exchange. Yep. Um, when are we going to um, show the... Folks. When we get to it on the list. Oh, it's on the list? Yeah. Where did I not see it's that? It's right here. Oh, okay. So we're going to show you. the notes. Bam. No, we're going <laughs> to. We're going to show you a picture. We did film our mm -hmm. smalls before we wrapped them. Sure did. And then, um, then we want, we've got some video of the other smalls that, yeah. that, uh, were there and they were fantastic. Oh my goodness. And then um, on Saturday, yeah. then we found out, I didn't even know this when we, before we were planning on going, but there was actually a second LNS, local New York show. Oh yeah, yeah. That was literally six minutes from the hotel. Right. And the shop is called uh, The World in Stitches mm -hmm. and it is in Littleton, Massachusetts. And so um, a group of us decided to get in the car and drive, you know, the really long drive um, to the that shop. Um, and so I took some tour video of that, which we'll insert at another point of the video. And um, so that was fun. We got, so we got two different bags full of haul to show you guys. Right. And so we were over there for a while and then we grabbed some lunch and then we just came back and we hung out and we stitched until um, the wee morning hours. Um, I was part of the late night crew. Pam went to bed early. That's fun. not early, but whatever. And then um, on Sunday, we had to be out of our rooms by noon. And so um, we checked our room and loaded the car up. Had and, breakfast, chatted some more. Yep. And yep. then um, we left the hotel, said goodbye to everybody, left the hotel about 12, 30, 1 o'clock. And then um, we just felt like it wasn't right to leave New England without getting seafood. So um, we got some recommendations, though, from the locals. Mm -hmm. And um, we actually went to uh, Sturbridge Seafood in Sturbridge, Massachusetts. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you saw my post about it. It was so good. Right. We got a lobster roll, and then they had, what did they call Chowder fries. Chowder fries. So they were French and fries. We we got, got I got some clam chowder. Yep. It was and, really good. Uh, in uh, Sturbridge, in Sturbridge, Massachusetts, if mm -hmm. you've heard of Old Sturbridge Village, yep. or maybe have been there. Right. And uh, then we hit the road yep. for uh, Syracuse. And it was only like, what, four hours? Yeah. yeah it was like three hours and 30 minutes. Yeah. From so it was restaurant. perfect. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, or fortunately, whatever, we woke up the next morning to, um, I'd say, what, an inch or two? Probably. Of snow. Um, I had snow. taken the scraper out April of the car. April Fool's. 
on April 1st, we had snow in Syracuse. We didn't have anything to um, mm -mm. in the car to scrape it off. Mm -mm. We had to go ask the hotel in Syracuse for a broom. Mm -hmm. and uh, But it was the light, fluffy stuff, so it was no yeah, big was deal. And we ended up driving pretty much right out of it. Correct. We got home on Monday, Monday. night about 7-ish. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And... Uh, Everything safe and sound, yep. and cats are still alive. Yeah, house is still standing. Back, back Went to, to work our routine. Yesterday yep. and back to our routine. Yeah, so, so um, that was kind of um, why there was <laughs> really no way that we could do a video on schedule. Nope. Um, but uh, I did. We want to talk about stitching. Next. We're going to talk about our stitching. We're going to talk about stitching now. So that was a general overview of what our week. Right, and we'll like. talk some more as we go along about Correct. individuals and. And this, that, and the other. But if you guys have been here long enough, then you know that when we do these like special like retreat videos, they're kind of like all over the place. Right. But you like that, so here we go. Right. So I had spun the wheel uh, about a week and a half ago, mm -hmm. and it was the sooner rather than later wheel, which is all new starts. And I came up with a kit called uh, American Coast, and it is by Chessie and me. It is on a piece of darkish beige, um, 36 count, 36 count, and uh, comes with all Gloriana silks. I've had this in my stash for a really long time. I've always wanted to stitch it, and so I was really excited yeah. for this to come up on the wheel. Mm -hmm. It looks small and like easy, right? Yeah, um, I have to tell you, tell them, Pam. I made a lot of progress on this. And did not stitch it during the retreat. So I stitched oh, you didn't it. didn't at all? No. Oh. Um, I stitched it um, from Sunday night maybe to um, Wednesday night. Oh. And um, as you can tell, I had to put it in a hoop. Mm -hmm. And um, I discovered that. And it looks so good. Um, the, uh, I don't know, flowers on the hill. Um, are done in Smyrna crosses, as are the stars in the flag. And the border, which I haven't gotten to yet, is also in Smyrna's. So it's teensy weensy. <laughs> it's itty bitty. But it's going to be really, really pretty. It's I'm really cute. pleased with it. Um, and uh, so experimenting. With some of uh, the magnifiers that I have. Um, the door is in satin stitches across four squares. So it kind of gives the um, look of kind of like an old colonial door in a way. That's cool. Um, the flag was super fun. And um, I love the these green. stars or fireworks or whatever you want to call it. I got down to the water down here. Oh, okay. And there's a boat that is over one. And oh, is it really blue? Yeah. So, super <laughs> fun. Um, be a really cute little stand-up for uh, the middle of summer. Mm -hmm. And so, I really enjoyed this more than I thought I would, actually. So, that's what I stitched um, up until we left for the retreat. Right. And I took it with me. Mm -hmm. But um, we'll talk more about the sow that um, we all, not all, but a lot. Um, Doing that American Coast thing. Yeah. Um, that we all kind of started in commemoration of the retreat. Yeah. So that's what we're going to talk about next. Oh. So um, if you all watch um, Lynette's latest video, um, I know she mentioned it in that video. She probably mentioned it in other videos. But... Um, is that um oh well i actually have the book so I can... so um if i'm not mistaken correct me if i'm wrong when it and helen helen d east coast crafter um that they had a meetup or something and they were talking about wanting to start projects right from the sweet land of liberty book from blackbird designs right and so they decided that, well, why don't, for the retreat, why don't we just start a sit-along at the retreat, and it can be any project from Sweet Land Delivered. So, what did you pick, Pam? So I picked um, 
Is it called In Full Glory? It sure is. All right. Um, do you want me to show this big picture? Yeah, show that big picture um, so out this, of the book so they have a point of reference. So this is a huge... It's not this big in no, real life. No, not it's a big it. picture, but it's not very big. So it's a small pin pillow. The stitch count is 65 by 81. Right. Um, and so it's called In Full Glory. And that's so on our way to the retreat, we figured we would just get all of our materials to participate in the sale. Yeah. And because we um, thought we'd like make it all like, you know, New England on the retreat. And right. So um, I didn't really uh, get too much done on it, um, but I did start uh, a couple of the window panes in it. So it's just really, really little. And this is 32 count. Uh, natural, natural raw linen. Right, right. I love the colors. Um, the window is kind of filled in, and yeah. So, um, do you know what that red is? Uh, it's no big deal if you don't. Used brick. I love it. From Classic Color Works mm -hmm. is the red. I like it a lot. So, um, I I think it's gonna be darling. Um, two or three of us are doing this one. Yep. Um, and we're at various stages of Helen's doing that one, right? Progress on it. Yep. And um, I think it'll just be um, adorable. Yeah, it will. Yeah. So um, that is what I did for stitching this week at the retreat. At the retreat. Yes. And before I left for the retreat. Correct. So. Okay. So I'm putting this away so we don't lose it or forget about it. Oh, is that? Oh, this. What is this? I think that's yours. But that's fine. Okay. Oh, okay. That goes with that. Oh, okay. Okay. Sorry, guys. All right. So, um, I decided to participate in the stitch along as well, um, and I decided that I love America too. So, <laughs> don't think that just because it's got red, white, and blue on it that only Pam can stitch it. Because I love America too. There you go. So, um, <clears throat> I decided to stitch, um, it is actually called Sweet Land of Liberty, and it is this right here. Um, and first things first, people that have commented about my issue with bunting, I'm making an exception. I'm trying not to look at the bunt. <laughs> However, um, and then... The um the other thing is is that as you can tell I wonder if there's a lot yeah there you go so larger photo so as you guys can probably tell from the picture that this one and you probably have seen it stitched on a thousand different um this was finished in this candlestick thing here round ball um and so the chart for the pattern is like the corner of this house it's not even charted because it's round right however we have a local stitcher here Marsha hi Marsha. And she stitched this exact piece, um, but she made it square and had it framed square. And it's pretty easy to just make it square, just carry the rose out of it. Sure. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, this is super cute as a candlestick, but like my cats would knock that over in a minute. So uh, I'm just going to make it into a small pillow um, and maybe we can have a patriotic display. Sure. If you will. Sure. So, um, I actually technically didn't start mine at the retreat because I couldn't shut my yapper long enough to get my other project done until 2 a.m. on Sunday morning. So, however, I did start it while still in the state of Massachusetts. I have a witness. <laughs> she did. Thank you, Pam. So, um... This is fully kitted and started in the state of Massachusetts. And I think that's really cool. And this will be forever my Fruguyaki project. All right. So. Well, you did a lot. I know. When you got 12 hours of sitting in a vehicle. Yeah. Um, and then I worked on it um, yesterday, a little bit today. And yesterday was what, Tuesday? Wow. Right. Um, and then it's back to shop models after this video. But um, I asked Barbara if that was okay. She said yes. So. This is also on 32 count natural raw linen in all of the called for colors. So as you can tell, That's I got great. the flag done and the roof done. So, yeah. yeah so do you want to know a really fun fact? This kind of stuff irritates me. I'm about to tell you a pet peeve of Stephanie's. 
this color in the chimney things is Garden Gate from Gentle Arts. This color of the roof is Tin Bucket from Gentle Arts. The black that outlines that is Garden Gate from Gentle Arts. Not much different. It looks the freaking same. Yeah. Yeah. She even showed me the two <clears throat> skeins. And I mean, it's really pretty. Like, look at all that variegation in that roof. It's mm -hmm. really pretty, but it's the same damn color. <laughs> it's, the same. it's the same damn color. Okay. Which is good. That's the way. <laughs> so, um, that is um, my progress on Sweet Land of Liberty. Looks great. Um, <laughs> I am going to put that away for a little while because I have two more shop models to do. Mm hmm. So, speaking of shop models, um, I did want to show you guys, I did have a retreat finish, so technically is retreat still. Um, so, <laughs> <laughs> my second shop model for market was a uh, Lindy Stitches pattern, and it is, I should have brought the pattern over here, but I didn't. Um, it's called Change in Latitude by Lindy Stitches. It's not a brand new pattern, it was released in 2000. 18. <laughs> but it's um, the first shop model of Lindy Stitch's patterns that we're carrying in our shop. So I showed you guys my start on that last week, I think. And I think, uh, so. I think so. And um, it was like going so quickly. And it was like, I'm going to have this done in no time. And I said to myself, I wanted to get the pants on the Pelican done before we got to the retreat, which I did successfully. Mm -hmm. And then I had four lines of probably maybe 40 or 50 stitches across. Maybe. That took me two days. Was that the sand? That's the sand. The famous sand. The famous sand. The famous unending sand. Never ending quicksand of sand. <laughs> because I literally could not stop talking for long enough to put stitches in my cross stitch. Right. But that's a good problem to have. So what time of the morning did you fin finally finish? Two o'clock in the morning. Which day? In the uh, 2 a.m. Sunday. Sunday. 2 a.m. Sunday. Because it was the four lines of sand and then there's three itty bitty waves. 2 a.m. Sunday. 2 a.m. Sunday. But you brought it home finished. But I did. And I finished it at the retreat. Um, there were other witnesses there to see me finish it. And, um, however, the final project is at Keepsakes Now, um, and Barbara is doing some hunting to find what she wants to finish it on. I don't think it's going to be, like, framed. I think she's going to do something fun with it, which is, like, it's a super fun piece. So, yeah, obviously. Right. So, uh, however, we do have a picture, so I want to insert the picture of my pelican here. So, where's the bell, Pam? It's right here, Stephanie. Okay. Ready? Happy, Happy finishes, finishes, everyone. Yeah, super cute. Okay. I can't wait to see how Barbara finishes it. I know, it's going to be so cute. All and right. it was super fun to stitch, and her colors are beautiful, and like, oh my goodness. I love Oh you, yeah, it just got cuter and cuter and cuter. Yes. Um, okay, so now we're going to talk about details about the retreat. <laughs> so... I'm going to do a disservice if I try and say hello to every single person that oh, was yeah. at the retreat. Oh, my gosh. And I would feel like a big poop head if I forgot right. somebody forgot important. Somebody. However, um, I do want to give you guys a list of the names of the floss tubers that were present. Um, right. Because more than likely they'll make a video. Or some people, Helen, has already <laughs> made a video yeah. about it. And yeah. that if you're interested and want to know more details about it or get someone else's perspective on it, then you can go check out their videos. So, um, obviously, we were there. Yes. Yeah. You know our channel. <laughs> Just keeps it to Two, Lynette and Little One and Eldest at Homesteading on the Home Front. Mm -hmm. um, and side story, I would just like to say a huge special hello to Little One. Um, <clears throat> okay. So, I got... Um, I am not in the habit of having little, not, she's not little, she's there. No, she's in seventh grade. But having children look up to me. I mean, they literally, they look up to me because I'm taller than they are. But like, consider me a role model, if you will. 
not that like I'm a crappy person, but like I don't have a bunch of itty bitties running around being like, you're so cool. I just have done that. Right. And, um, but I remember the first time we stumbled upon Lynette's channel and I was like, she is so cool. Oh my gosh. I love her. Um, well that and little one, but I'm kind of talking about little one here. And, um, then I found out that the love and admiration was mutual. And, um, when we got to the hotel, she ran out and she's, yes. she's like, itty bitty. She's a little, little one is a very accurate description. Yes. She's very small. And <laughs> I was just like, Pam at least asked her if she could hug her. I was like, mm -mm, nope, no questions. And I hugged her. And then I spent 97% of the weekend sitting next to her and yeah. talking to her, talking about school and what she likes and being the band and cross stitch and how she stitches and all the things. And you are an amazing girl. Yeah. And I am so great happy kid. to have met you. Yeah. Yeah. Great kid. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Moving on before I fall my eyes out on YouTube. The okay. next person we want to talk about is Helen. Yes. If Helen. you haven't watched Helen, Helen D on Floss Tube. And uh, she was there. Mm -hmm. And um, she lives in the same town as my brother up in Maine. Mm -hmm. And actually my brother and sister-in-law and nephew live in a set of condos where Helen and her family used to live in. Have you asked Howard yet if he no, knows who's No. Yet? But anyway, um, I said something about condos, and she said, was it blah, 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 address? And I went, yeah. Mm -hmm. And she said, well, we were in 42. No, she said, we were in 39. I said, my brother lives in 42. <laughs> That's crazy. Then she said a very quiet young man came by one year selling Boy Scout popcorn. Mm -hmm. And I said, yep, that would be my nephew. Mm -hmm. So we've had a lot of lot of uh, uh, chuckles about that. Yep. Uh, Helen uh, was there, and she's very active on Flosstube and, and in East Coast Crafter on Instagram. Mm -hmm. Make sure you check her out. Yes, she has made a video already about the retreat. Yes, about the retreat. Because she's on it. Well, she got home before we did. Well, this is very true. Um, and she came with her sister, right, Donna. Right. So it's awesome to meet Donna. Donna also has a floss tube channel, and yes. it is Kids, Cats, Stitches. Yes, yes. She was one of the night owls with Stephanie that stayed up till the wee hours. She's got four kids, and she's still a night yep. owl. Yep, Just great gal. So um, two sisters there. Yep. Um Another one that was there was Marissa, yeah. and many of you know her. She's been making floss tubes for a long time. Her floss tube channel, I believe, is M. Kissa. Mm -hmm. She has recently relocated to Maine. She lives down on Higgins Beach, mm -hmm. and she has two little girls, Yes, and she used to live out in California, out in the San Diego area. She I hasn't think. made a video in a while, but right, she's like Because of the relocating and everything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But... Um, but it was nice to find. She could was another one of the night owls, mm -hmm. and it was great to meet her. We'd watched her, and she is um, she is one of three of us. I think Marissa's is done, but uh, the oh, other yeah. two of us are working on the take me out to the ball game mm -hmm. uh, from Little House, um, yep. and um, I think I'm the farthest behind. But uh, she put in the World <laughs> Series. A tour and her mother was at the game in California and um, so it's a gift to her mom and then the other the third girl that's doing take me out to the ball game right was Brenda and yep. Brenda is a um, cross uh, floss tuber as well I believe her channel name is Brenda stitches it is and but it's uh, been a while since she's made a video right but uh, go check her out I think her videos are still up there mm -hmm. um, I'm talking about number six Okay. Or whatever number we're on. Okay. Um, uh, another one who um, go. has, uh, unfortunately, she's taken her videos down. That's okay. Um, but uh, if but you all with, would enough, know. with enough encouragement, we'll get her to um, start back up again. Right. Mean, and that is, well, what's her channel? It's it's Andy. Yeah. At Nana's Needles. And Nana's Needles was her um, floss tube channel. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It was a delight to meet her. Oh, my gosh. I'm obsessed uh, with her. And, um... <laughs> So, okay, I'm seriously obsessed with her. So, in, like, 
super not creepy way. No, no. So we found her channel, and I was just like, I'm obsessed with you. I'm obsessed with your dog. I'm obsessed with everything you did. Right. What was her your dog? Pups. What's her dog's name? Bentley. Bentley. Oh my gosh, I love it. Okay, so we get there Friday night, and I'm like settling in. And I'm like, oh my god, there's Andy. Uh huh. Right, and she's like, she gets out to like shake. Hi, I'm Andy. All oh, nice and cute and sweet. And I was like, oh, yeah, I know who you are. I mean, Nana's new. I was wearing a Bentley. And she was like, she had, you no know who I idea. am? I'm like, that do I know who you are? Anyone would know her from her floss tubes. Yes, of course. Um, so um, we're going to we're gonna keep at her and maybe uh, encourage her to come back. Right. But, but she she's not going to be linked below because there's no videos to go watch. But right. if you remember her from, I don't know how long ago she took them out. Right, anyway. right. And then we had a special stop-in visit. We sure did. From um, someone who's been making floss tubes, it seems like forever, and that's Abby, Abby Bella Stitch. Mm -hmm. uh, she and Stephanie had been doing this um, Blackbird design. Yeah, she's the same one that I got the seasons from. Right, and um, so uh, Stephanie encouraged her. She just lives around the corner mm -hmm. and um, <clears throat> got the details from Steph and yep. said, um, I'll bring... Um, the baby and come on over. So we got to meet Bear. Yeah. And um who's such a little nugget. She did a show and tell for us. Oh my gosh. She messaged me and she was like, What do I bring? Never right. mind. I just threw it all in a bag. She I'm just what. Dump it. Whatever. You know, and so we got to see so many of the pieces that she's shown. She's just an extraordinary stitcher and yes. and not afraid to um stitch um some really awesome awesome pieces yes so uh we were delighted to meet abby mm -hmm. and um abby was the one who um actually um suggested where we start for lunch in yeah. uh sturbridge sure. and so thank you abby for that recommendation okay. um in person it was just so awesome to meet so many floss we tubers. have one left I know you okay. said to wait, okay. but I just want to say something about Abby because oh. she is hysterically funny. Oh my gosh, she's a riot. She is just so so funny. Uh, some of it comes across in her floss tubes, but in person, in a much more relaxed, she's herself on floss tubes, right? Yeah, yeah. No question about it. But just standing around, sitting around, talking with her, <laughs> she's just got such a great sense of humor, yeah. and it was just a delight. I gave her a big hug and I, I thought she I thought I broke her. Right. She really is very, very she, tiny. I don't know where that baby way went. No, no. She must have been all baby when she all had baby. that kid. But she was, if you saw photos of her on Instagram, you're like You know, she's baby. just a very petite um uh I could put her in my pocket. Young lady. And uh so it was just a special treat for Abby to come over. Mm -hmm. Uh it was not planned, but um I was just like, Oh, heck yeah. yeah you know. Um and I wasn't even more or less in charge but so that was special and then okay the last one we want to mention okay <clears throat> so <laughs> why do i get so emotional about I don't this no you need to pull your tail <laughs> together i'm sorry okay so a new earth lost tuber her name is hillary toll and she lives in caribou maine caribou maine and for those of you like caribou is in the animal caribou yeah. So, um, Caribou is about a stone's throw away from Canada. Um, aside from us, I think she drove the farthest. Yeah. It's about seven, seven hours. hours. Yeah. Down. And right. so she lives in northern, northern, northern Maine. Right. And, um, when she first started making floss tube videos, we were like, oh my gosh, another Mainer making floss tubes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we loved her automatically because she was a Mainer that made floss tube videos. So, mm -hmm. duh. But like, but then we got to meet her, and she was at this retreat, and um, she brought the the cardboard dough. Yes, the cardboard dough. If you cardboard dough, get yes. it? Box one. So, um, and her and I, she's older than me, but you wouldn't really know it. Um, and she's got two girls, and she is. We just like had so much in common, and um, her like town like the big city for her to go to was is bangor maine and that's where i lived for all all of one except for one year that i lived in maine which so like six years i lived in bangor and so like it was cool to talk about this and talk about that and talk about and so she was just super 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 cool and i was like it was very what it reminded me of was when i met linda joe and it was like where have you been my whole life how have i lived without you in my life what uh 
And then I met Hillary and I was like, where have you been my whole life? How have I functioned without you in my life until right now? Yeah. So, um, she's amazing and wonderful and I am so happy. And her channel name yes. is Rustic, Rustic Threads. Threads. Yeah. Yes. So, so go check her out. Give right. her some love. Um, and, uh, she is, there was a lot of people that were stitching the same project this weekend, which is kind of funny. Um, her and Marissa were both stitching that Prairie Schooler. Oh yeah. The fortune teller one with the Oh bones. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. So, um, mm -hmm. but she, it was just cool. I mean, everyone was so wonderful. It and was amazing. just a blast. And um, you and Hillary went over to this place called. Oh my gosh. Wait till I, t oh my gosh. I didn't know people. if you were going to tell that story or not. People. Okay. So because it was Frugal Yankee, there really was like, it was frugal. Like we were just like, whatever else could take out Saturday night. So we were originally, our original plan was to go like, go get seafood dinner on Saturday night. And the place that we really wanted to go had like a two and a half hour wait. And we were like, nope. So we looked up like takeout near me, right? And Pam was like, let's get Chinese. What about Thai? And Pam was like, yeah, let's do that. So I said, Hillary, do you like Thai food? She said, yeah, sure, whatever. And I was like, have you ever had Thai food before? And she in was Caribou, like, Maine? she goes, well, we don't have any Thai food restaurants in Caribou. It's not really big up in Caribou. And, oh my gosh, she's a riot. So we found this place. Literally, the name of the place is Thai on the Tie on the fly, people. Tie on the fly. And it was, again, six minutes from the hotel. And we go in there, and it's like literally walking into Thailand. It was beautiful. It was all red. I took pictures. Yeah. Hillary and I went together in Pam's car, and we left Pam at the hotel. And the, I've never been in, of all the places I've been into, and it's all the places I've eaten in before, I have never seen a restaurant that was dine-in and carry-out only. No. No. That's wrong. Delivery and carry out only. Right. No dine in. No all. dine in at all. The guy had, apparently had a headset on. Headset. Oh my, it was so on it. He was like Mr. Thailand. And it was amazing. And everything was like red paint and gold and white. And they had this yep. humongous L couch that was big and white and puffy. And I go, Can I sit on your couch? And he was like, Yeah, but you're not going to want to get up. Nope, he was right. Yeah. So the food was delicious. It was hot. It was like burning my mouth hot when we got it. Yeah. And. It was good. So if you are ever in wherever we were, where were we? Westford, Massachusetts. Westford, Massachusetts. Look up Ty on the Fly. Ty on the Fly. Isn't that a cute name? Super cute. So okay. That was fun. That was are fun. we going to talk about the Smalls Exchange next or the Hall? Let's talk about the Smalls Exchange. Yeah, I was thinking we might want to switch those on the notes. Mm -hmm. Oh, that one time you read them? <laughs> <clears throat> okay. okay. So, hand me mine and out. Okay. This? And the other two things. And this and this? Yep. Okay. Okay. So, um, so how the Smalls Exchange worked was that Lynette took like 30 or something pieces of paper, ripped them all up, put them in a bucket, and then we all went and picked a number. And then we just went in number order, just like right. that. Right. So, Pam was, what number were you? Five, I think. Okay, so you can go first then. Oh, okay. So, I was five. And, um, I because went up. Per usual at retreats, even though a small exchange is usually optional, ninety eight percent of people yeah take. yeah it was I it was, it was, was fantastic. There was just about everybody that partook in the small yeah exchange. it was okay. fantastic. So Perfect. look at this box that attracted me. This is this is a um, kind of an explorer box, if you will. It's mm -hmm. got a little latch on the front. Yep. And so inside was. Oh that's, that's oh, that's a card from Ty on the Fly. Oh, well. Ty on the Fly. There you go. There you go. So inside, it's kind of gotten kind of disembobulated, was this gold package that looks like a gold nugget, right? A gold bar. Gold bar, if you will. Yes. And so inside is... Oh, I didn't know there was anything inside there. Is this gold thing. What is it? I... I'm not sure, to tell you the truth. But then there's also... Oh my gosh, look at this. There's also these little tools. Pam, you didn't even read this. So literally what you do... See these little blue tools? Is Okay, so this little piece of paper, it says you will find real gold or silver in one of 24 boxes. So you break that up with these little baby tools. Okay. And there's stuff inside. 
Okay. So stay tuned to Sunday's video to find out what was so inside we'll, the cold We'll box. work on that and we'll report back. Yes, we will. Okay. Absolutely. Oh my gosh. Then there was that. this little scroll wrapped up in this gold filament. And um, it uh, was from a gal who, um, her her um, name is Trisha. Yep. Last initial P. Um, she's on Floss Tube as her gamer name. So, no, um, and Facebook. she doesn't, she she's doesn't, on Facebook as that name. What did I say? Floss tube. Oh no, I meant Facebook. Yeah. So, um, inside the box, besides the gold bar. And it was cute because you had it like rolled up like a yeah, scroll. Like, like a, you'd find a treasure chest under the sea. So, right. So, and look at what was inside. I'm going to set the box down so you can see this. Look at this adorable bookmark. Isn't that just the greatest? Okay. It's so cute. And down at the bottom it says... Treasure Within. Treasure Within. It's beautifully stitched. And like, look how it, precisely it's cut out on the sides. Yeah. Yeah. So cute. And um, so what did she say? In this so she said it's from um, a Sandy Orton uh, leaflet. Um Called the best of cooler designs. You know, Sandy Orton was in Orion. Cool. Orton. It's oh. Orton. Okay. From Cooler Designs. Sandy Orton was a Cooler Designs cool. um, designer. And so that was my small. Mm -hmm. And I got the only bookmark. You sure did. And I just love it. And um, since uh, she's not a floss tuber, you'll never know this unless I tell you. She got mine. We were the only oh. direct swap. Yeah. Um, oh, you guys were the only one direct? That's yeah, funny. We were the only direct one. So when you see my small, uh, just know that the gal who did this for me mm -hmm. uh, got mine. So wasn't that cool? Very cool. So, Trisha, um, publicly, uh, thank you. And um, we'll let you know what's in the I'm gold I'm sorry bar. I didn't play with the gold bar. Oh, we um, will play with the gold bar. But we're gonna. So, in Sunday's oh, yeah. video, stay tuned, and you'll find out what happened with the gold bar. Oh, yeah. So, that was what I got in the swap. I was number mm -hmm. five, so I had a pretty good uh, choice. Um, oh, yeah. Of going up to the table and picking. She sure did. Okay. So, um, my number was number 19. Um, so, about middle of the road. Um, and I picked up a bag that was just kind of like, it was a little bit red, white, and blue, but like, not like patriotic, like screaming in your face, but it was just really pretty. And so I picked it up and I got this beautiful card and she said, happy first frugal Yankee stitching retreat enclosed my small, my favorite red floss, some of my favorite trims and scissors, happy stitching, Wendy. Wendy. So, um, my small was stitched and finished by Wendy, and I'm obsessed with it, and this is what I got. Isn't that beautiful? And I think that this is called, I don't know what it's called, but I think it's by Primitive Traditions. Okay. Or Threadwork Primitives. Threadwork, Threadwork Primitives. Yep, that's what it is. Right. Um, and, but Wendy, I have a question. Does the C stand for crown? Right. I think it does, but it's not a W and it's not a D. Right. So I we were just wondering about that before we hit record. And it's got this really oh, pretty. Oh, isn't that cute? Yeah. So pretty. But that's not all. Right. So inside of the package, like she said, her favorite red floss, which is Red Pear from Weeks Dye Works. Some of her favorite trims. Oh, those are so freaking cute. Oh my gosh, I could use one of those on my thing from my small from the Sweet Land of Liberty. Mm -hmm. <sighs> um, and then she also decorated it with Beth Twist stickers. Mm -hmm. um, and then a pair of scissors. Mm -hmm. And then all of that was inside, inside the a sidekick bag from Made by Mama Joan. Look at this freaking pig. <laughs> Isn't he so cute? Yep. 
And so it's like farm animal with the red. Th oh my gosh, it's so cute. Yeah. So cute. Beautiful. So thank you so much, Wendy. I'm obviously obsessed with all this stuff. I'm seriously going to use this trim on my Sweet Land of Liberty finish. I'm just throwing that out there. So right. hold me to that, people, okay? Right. Um, and so what we did before we left for the retreat was that we took a short video um, showing off our fully finished smalls for the exchange. This is what we took. This is what we took to hand out. And then when we come back from the video, we'll tell you who got ours. Well, she already told you, but I'll tell you. Yeah. Mind. So we're going to insert that video here. Here. Um, we are packing up and getting ready to head to Massachusetts for the Frugal Yankee Floss Tube Weekend Retreat. And these are our smalls that we made for the Smalls Exchange. So this one is mine. I'll try not to shake the camera too much so i stitched this little small and it is a f i think it might be a freebie but i'm not sure from val's stuff and uh it was finished by jan uh the finisher at keepsakes and she knows i'm a sucker for a good polka so she found this purple polka dot fabric which matches this purple floss perfectly um i and i asked her to make it a long pillow and then with a little pocket, and I found these amazingly cute orange scissors at Keepsakes. So, like, cute. And then Jan added this little extra. She always kind of adds a little something. And it's a little button or pin with a little spider. I just stuck it right there. And then she added the Rick Rack trim on it and the purple polka on the back. So, um, per Lynette's request, um, we are packaging our smalls in the theme. So, like, since mine's Halloween, mine will be packaged in Halloween colors and things. So, that way, they know what they're getting into when they get the package. Okay, and then Pam is going to talk about hers. Hi, everybody. This is my small that I'm taking to Massachusetts for the Frugal Yankee Plus tube weekend retreat and what I did is I took a Twin Peak Primitives chart and it's called the Lighthouse Keeper. I used some color and cotton threads particularly in her dress and I personalized it for the retreat and Stephanie charted that for me and I was able to put those special words in as a memento of the retreat and uh, Barbara made it into a stand-up and used this anchor fabric on the back with Rick Rack on the bottom to help it stand up in the rope detail or what what do you call that this yeah uh she used some nautical looking rope yep and made it into a really cute stand up so cute and i'm thrilled with it mm -hmm. so i hope the person who gets it is equally as excited to get it it was a fun stitch and I can't wait to give it away this weekend. Yay. All right. We will send you back to regularly scheduled programming now. Bye. Cool. Okay. So Pam already told you who got hers. Right. Patricia. Um, Trisha, no, P, Trisha. Trisha P. Yeah. Got my um, small. Mm -hmm. It's uh, a design from Twin Peak Primitives called yeah. Lighthouse Keeper. Mm -hmm. And um, you're going to hear a little bit more about that in a minute. Yes, you are. And Barbara finished it into the stand-up. And I loved it. And I know Trisha was thrilled with it. So, yes. great. So, mine uh, the was actually the first one to be picked. And it was picked by Hillary. Yeah. At Rustic Threads. So, um, so she got my package and... Um, she said it was just so cute with its Halloween tissue paper and all things. So right. I really hope you enjoy it, Hillary. Um, yeah, she I think kept losing did. the little scissors. I know, so, so I'm going to send gonna... you a scissor fob. Yeah, she's okay. going to 
She's gonna uh, have to figure out a way to keep the purple scissors. If I had a brain, I would have put a fob on it, but yeah. I forgot. About yeah, it. it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. So that was super fun. Yes. Okay. Exception. Super fun. And we want to also um, insert the video of all the smalls. Do we want to do that? Yeah. So I took a here? video. Yeah. Of the of all the smalls right. on display because we after have to they were the unwrapped. Yep. So we'll insert that video here. here. All the smalls from our smalls exchange. Wait for it. You guys, look at this. Look at that. The packaging, amazing. So this is Pam's, as you all know. Finishes off that fold. And this beautiful thing from Andy. Oh, it's so cute with the little pics. Oh. And then this. You guys, look. Oh! How awesome is that? Welcome to Massachusetts. So cute. This came in the yellow bag. How cute is that? I love it. It looks like it's one over one. Yep, sure is. And look at this cute little box. Look at the look at that. Oh my gosh. And then this is what I got. So I got this made by Mama Joan bag with the weak Starworks floss. A pair of scissors in there. Some trims. And then that beautiful small which is a thread work primitives and I'm obsessed with it so that's the one I get to take home and then this is what I gave away and Hillary from rustic threads she actually got mine which is really cool and I put it in this basket with the tissue paper so cute she actually drew first and so she um, pick mine first, which I was honored. So cute. They're all so good. Library scholar. So cute. And then this is what Pam got. So it was the this treasure box almost and inside is this little piece of gold and then the treasure within bookmark so clever okay you keeping track of all your inserts you know i am pam because i'm making the notes all right okay right okay. okay so let's talk about the other gifts we got yeah we got a few gifts we weren't expecting gifts we didn't go for gifts we don't, but, but cool. um we we got a few gifts we from some gifts. really nice people yes okay so the first gift was from cheryl our friend cheryl from portland maine cheryl from portland maine sorry about the tissue there, anyway. but we wanted to keep everything in clothes so we wouldn't forget where it yeah so we actually knew Sorry. Um, we knew that she was stopping at Stonewall Kitchen. Right, because I messaged her. Uh, I met Cheryl uh, through a stitch along we did together, and then she came to StitchCon. And we told her that we were close to Bush Mountain. Maybe they were they were close as we could uh, meet up. But um, as it turned out, they got in kind of a traffic jam near the York exit well mm -hmm. at the york main exit 
on the main turnpike, which is kind of at the end. Mm -hmm. um, or beginning. Is the headquarters of Stonewall Kitchens. If you've ever been in a kitchen store or, I mean, they, they're sold widely around the country. Yep. But their um, main base store is in York, Maine, and they also have a restaurant there. Sure so do. because of the traffic, she and Jan um, yeah. stopped at Stonewall, mm -hmm. had lunch, Got a few things and picked up a couple of things for us, which was super, super sweet. Very sweet. So we got um, uh, a little jar of wild Maine blueberry jam. Mm -hmm. There's Stonewall right there. Yep, Stonewall Kitchen. And I, she got for she got that for Pam because it's blue, and then for me, she got the strawberry jam because it's oh, red. It's right. my favorite color. Right. And then Cheryl, the expiration date is December sixteenth, which is two days before my birthday. Oh, yeah. So, good job. Yep. And no, 2020. I know. Oh, okay. But just like generally speaking, oh, yeah, my birthday yeah, yeah. will always be December yeah, So, 18th. thanks for the jam, you guys. And? That's going to be great. And then, later on in the weekend, she comes back. She came back with? She has a friend named Tina who um, knits socks. Mm -hmm. And um, I don't know about... The contact information for Tina, but look at these beautiful socks. Oh my gosh, what's that? So Cheryl, shoot me a message, darling, if you um, have some contact information for these socks. So, um, okay. I don't see anything on here. There's 75% SW Merino wool, 25% nylon. This color is Glacier. And my... Where'd you find the color? Right there. Okay. And my color is Vegetate. Ha, ha. So really great colors. Oh my gosh. And, and, and they feel amazing. And so. I took all my willpower to not use these when I was shoveling snow. Right. On my right. In Syracuse, New York. Right. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Just saying. So that was super, Thank you, Cheryl. super lovely. Cheryl is <clears throat> a very giving person and, and we love her to death. Yes. Um, before I show what's next, I want to give a big, huge shout out and thank you to Beth because Beth made sure that we were full of snacks, candy, all the things. Yes. And Mountain Dew and Diet Coke and Sam Adams Boston Lager yes. for Pam. Yes. And I, all We weekend. were well fortified. We were well taken she care of. She told us before we left and said, what do you guys like for snacks and drinks and all that kind of stuff? So I told her. And I just uh, thought she was taking a poll. So we had we had many, many uh, munchies we and sure did. that we still brought home and mm -hmm. have still to eat. Right. Um, just a lot of lot of good stuff. A lot of But a lot of that stuff's in the kitchen and not just, health foods either. No. So well, yeah. retreat calories don't count. So, so Beth, so. you're a doll baby and we love you to death. And yes, um thank you for all of your uh sweet surprises. Yes. So, coupled with Cheryl's gift, this was a gift from Jan. So, don't get confused. It's not the Jan that does the finishing at Keepsakes. No. This is Jan, who is um, Cheryl and Jan were college roommates at the University of Maine, Orono, which is where I went to school uh, for college. And um, they've been friends ever since. And so... We met Cheryl, like I said, at TitchCon last year. and um, Jan's coming next Jan's year. Jan's coming this year. And it was so nice, so nice to finally meet her because um, we've talked and stuff um, in the past. And so she gave us this bag with some, what did you say that they were? Quilter's cotton. She's a quilter as well as a stitcher. Mm -hmm. And uh, by feeling this, you can tell it's quilter's cotton. Yeah. Anybody who quilts, look at this fabric. It's so pretty. Mm -hmm. And and the blue. And so really we're going to have Jan come up with something really cool to make with this fabric. Our Jan. Our at Jan. At <laughs> Jan from Jan. Jan's and Jan's. Right. So thank you, Jan. This is super lovely. Yeah. Uh, boy, you can tell. Good quality. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Just, for sure. Just the, um, Absolutely. Just, just Maybe the I could have this be the finishing fabric on my Sweet Land of Liberty. Maybe. Maybe. We'll see. Maybe. So that was super, super nice. Yes. Thank you so much. Um... I think this is from Patty, but the, but there was no card, and oh. she gave it to me like when we first 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 got there, oh. and you I must have been around. no, you must have been like I don't know talking to somebody probably, yeah. um, and 
she had messaged me and asked me if I wanted it, and I said yes. This was before the retreat. She brought it, and I think it's from Patty. And if it's not, I'm sorry. Um, but it is the from Stitchy Kitty, which is a designer based was based. She's not saying anymore in Scarborough, Maine. And um, this is the Halloween Kitty Moon. Now, if you've watched our videos for any length of time, you'll know that I already own this. However, the reason that I told her I wanted it is because it came with the fabric. Oh, nice. So, when I find this in our in my stash, right. it will go in a giveaway. Right. But how freaking cute is that cat? Yeah. Stop. So, Super thank good. you so much, Patty. And thank you if it wasn't Patty. Right. Okay. So, next... Um, on Sunday morning, we got a nice, really lovely package from Lynette, and, um, she gave us this really beautiful card, and it said thank you, with some bees on it, mm -hmm. and if you watch her channel, uh, you know that she, uh, makes scissor fobs, and, oh wait, that's yours, <laughs> and she made Pam one and me one, and so this is what mine looks like, with the pretty blue colors on it, and then... Oh, yeah, it's either way. She's a little mermaid. Very How pretty. pretty that is. Very pretty. So I'm going to put these on the scissors I got from Wendy for my small hands. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I got a, a real nice one, red, white, and blue, with uh, an anchor charm. Yep. On the... Hashtag, obviously, duh. Yeah, on the bottom. Thanks, Lynette. Oh, yeah, my thank goodness. thank you so much. After all yeah. that stuff you did for Little planning. one comes up with this little package with wrapped, you know. And this is for you. Gosh, she's cute. I thought it was going to be a plane ticket for her to come to Ohio, but that's fine. <laughs> well, I guess we'll wait till June. It's right, like... right. Okay. <laughs> and then um, we got, I think it was Friday night, um, Helen came over and she put a small gift bag in front of Lynette and she said, this is for you. And then she said, and I'll just set this here. And it was a tote bag, a canvas tote bag, and it was on the floor between me and Lynette. And so I thought it was for Lynette. And so about an hour later, Helen comes back over and she goes, just so you know, that canvas tote, that's for you and your mom. And I was like, good thing you told me because I thought it was for Lynette. Um, but this was the canvas tote and it was filled to, look at these moose. Do you see these little moose? Um, I love it. And um, it was filled with snacks that were made in the state of Maine. Yeah. And most of those are gone. Yeah. Chips and popcorn and saltwater taffy, salt water taffy and candy and <laughs> oy, 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 oy. Oh, thanks. But then she also gave us this super cute card and two freaking cute seagull needle minders. Aren't those adorable? And this stationery is adorable. Helen, where did you get yes. this? Because I want some. Yes. Um, so thank you so much, Helen, for the snacks, for the taste of Maine, if you will. Right. And also for the bag. Right. We love it all. Yeah. Okay. So that's the, all I have for gifts. Okay. Um, while we're sort of trying to get all this in, yeah. we want to remind everybody about, um, the promotional things that uh, we announce every week. Mm -hmm. We want to remind everybody about Color and Cotton. And um, that's for Crazy Annie. Mm -hmm. We also want to remind everybody about So Much to Love Bags. and Bag of the Month Club. Bag of the Month Club. And we and also want to remind everybody that um, the links and stuff for those items, um, if they're not in this... I'm, Fun fact, there's only 5,000 characters allowed in the description box. Right. If I have room to fit those two things in this description box, I will include them. If you if they're not in the description box and you're looking for them, go back to episode 90 and they will be in that box. Right. Okay? Right. Okay. And then lastly, for promotions, we want to talk about Twin Peak Primitives. Right. So, um, like I said, my small for the smalls exchange at Frugal Yankee was the lighthouse keeper from Twin Peak Primitives. Yes. And because of that, and after you see... How cute my small was finished by Barbara at Keepsakes. I've already seen it. Um, we know that uh, you will want to get this one. And this promotion is only going to last until our next video on Sunday. Yeah. It's a very quick stitch. It's called Lighthouse Keeper. Mm -hmm. And um, we 
may we're insert, gonna insert a, picture. a picture of it. Okay. We're going to insert a picture. But you've already seen how mine got finished. Mm -hmm. Yep. So, so insert a picture of that as charted. Right. Here. Here. We want to remind everybody about the uh, four season pack yep. called Track in the Seasons. Yep. All you need to do is buy it. Yep. And uh, you will be entered in the giveaway of the all expenses trip to the Netherlands in December with Stephanie and Pam. Yes. Um, and um, so don't forget about that. Make sure that you go to their Etsy store and yes. their. Website. Uh, or their website and pick up yep. the four season pack called Track in the Seasons. Yep. And if you would like a hard copy of either the promotional chart or the um, Track in the Seasons chart, then you can go to Beach Cottage Stitchers, right. uh, which is linked below, and buy their charts that way. Um, I did notice twins that you didn't tell me, but I noticed uh, when I went to work yesterday that Twin Peak Primitives has been picked up by Hoffman. Um, and so, oh. yeah, I didn't forget to tell you about oh, that. Oh, how great. Yeah. So I noticed that yesterday when I was searching for something at work to order and, um, I was like, Meh, I squealed. And, um, so what that means for all of us out here who are trying to support our brick and mortars, um, is that talk to your needle workshop owners, yeah. whether they're online or brick and mortar and say, Hey, do you have an account with Hoffman? They're the largest cross stitch distributor in the industry. And say, get some Twin Peak Primers in here, people. Okay. And if you get the track in the seasons from your LNS, yes. make sure you post a picture of yourself uh, with, the chart. with the chart and use the hashtag Stitch Mania. Dutch Mania. Mania. Dutch Mania. It's in the box. It's fine. Okay. Dutch Mania so that they know that they need to enter you for the giveaway for the trip. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, cool. We want to talk, speaking of LNSs, about our haul yes, that we, we got at two different shops in Massachusetts. Yes, we did. So, okay, well, first, go... this is first. just the haul portion of the program. Right. So, first and foremost, before I forget, oh, yeah. There was um, a freebie table. Massive. Massive freebie table. And um, we didn't really have, it was, what did Helen call it? A freebie ledge? Yeah. No, it was a hearth. Well, whatever. Um, it because was a, it was up against the fireplace. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so, because um, we were using all the other tables. Um, and so, it was like just like box after box after box appeared. Yeah. Um, and we brought whatever was left home with us. And so yeah. We'll go whatever to nobody took, we brought it back to Ohio. And well, it will be on the freebie table it at sure StitchCon because there were some real gems in there. Absolutely. And so um, we each got a couple things. Um, little one brought this over to me because I guess when our group and there was a couple of their car, car full of people that went over to the World in Stitches on Saturday when we did, um, that Lynette and Helen, no, nope, not Lynette, little one and Helen sat in front of the freebie hearth and just dug through them and Little one found this for me, and this is a heartstrings pattern from the Noah and Company series called Hippos. <laughs> I love it. I love it so much. Yep. Um. So thank you, little one. Right. For that. This is perfect. perfect. Okay. And then this was also on the freebie table. <laughs> How freaking random is that? That's right. Um. This is from. Happer Champs. Yeah, well, yes. The Ohio series, and this is the bicentennial. Uh, again, we might have this in our stash, but like we couldn't just leave it there. So no, no. So I brought home. If we discover it, we'll put it on the freebie table at StitchCon. Sure will. Um, and then I actually got this on Sunday freaking morning when I was loading the car with all of the boxes of stash. I was like, oh, what is this? And this is from the Frosty Pumpkin Stitchery. The jack-o'-lantern candy bucket. Are you dying? Because that's really cute. And not only is it the chart, but it's all the stuffs. And this is a little uh, notepad and the backing fabric and the, 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 the threads. So that was from some kind of monthly club? I don't know. Yeah, I think so. Don't know. Whatever. I don't care. It's not mine now. Before you discovered Frosted Pumpkin. Yes, ma'am. 
And then, okay, what'd you get? For so, um, <clears throat> I got a couple of things. Um, little one brought me this one. She was like hunting for everyone. It's so cute. <laughs> it's called USA Heart from Sweetheart Tree. Mm -hmm. And it's got a little um, star charm with it. Yep. So, that's super cute. And that super was cute. originally from the World in Stitches. Yeah, so it came from the World in Stitches. Awesome. Um, and then um, I found this one. Or somebody brought it to me. It was like we had personal shoppers there. Yes, this please. is um, a Mosey and Me from 1993. He's so cute. And it's favorite uh, land that I love. And I love Mosey. I really love Mosey and Me. Yeah. I have quite an extensive collection. So that's super cute. So that was off the freebie tape. Yes. And then, okay, so now we'll move to things we paid money for. <laughs> we paid money for, yes. Yes, so um, Marissa of uh, M. Kissa or M. Kissa Creations, um, she makes project bags. Her and Helen brought uh, huge stacks of project bags. I contained myself and bought one bag from Marissa. And this is the bag I got. You know, because I'm fresh out of cat bags. <laughs> so, but like how freaking cute. And then um, the inside is this beautiful teal that matches. I'm obsessed with this. Really cute. Very cute. Very, very well made. Cute fabric. Duh. And um, so thank you, Marissa, for that. Right. Okay. So, now, Okay. So you have two bags. Right. And the... Whoa, what all is in here? That's your stuff from World and Stitches, fam. Oh, yeah. So we want to talk about... We want to talk about um, Bush Mountain first. Because we went right. there first. Yes. And so that's the purple so bag. So this is, this is both of our stuff mm -hmm. from... That is all your stuff. Where's your stuff? Right here. Oh, so I'll show mine first. Because I got fabric. I got a piece of fabric. It ended up being cut wrong, so I had to get a different piece at Word Stitches. It's fine. And then um, I got a lot of threads and because I kitted up um, Sweet Land of Liberty. So. Right. Um, some of this is, is old stuff, but it's a designer that I really, really like. Yeah. Um, so um, I got uh, this... Um, that I, I don't think I'd ever seen this before. No, no. It was from um, Little Stitcher has an Etsy shop. Right. But um, Bush Martin, Bush Mountain started carrying them. Oh, okay. So this is Anne of Green Gables. And it says, um, life is worth living as long as there's a laugh in it. Does that just not say it? That sounds about right. Yeah. So there she is. Yeah. Uh, little pigtails Should there. Should tell people that in case they didn't know that the Anna Green Gables house is located on Prince Edward Island, Canada. Yes, and we've been there. We have been there because I love Anna Green Gables. Yes. So, Anne with a C. Anne with an E, sorry. I was like Anne. With Anne with an E. Um, so I got that. Isn't that cute, cute, cute? That Anna Green Gables. Fun. Yes, love that. Mm -hmm. I picked up a primitive hair. So, fun fact, Bush Mountain is actually the U.S. distributor for Primitive Hair Charts. So, they have, like, all the, a bunch of models from Primitive Hair and stuff. So, yeah. Sorry, go. So, I got uh, this one, which is called In God We Trust, which I just love. Mm -hmm. I like those flowers. Yep. Or stalks or whatever. Love that. That's going to be super quick. Oh, my gosh, yeah. What's the stitch count? 72 if I want to wait. Right. Um, Starting tonight, fam. I got another big Mill Hill. I got one at Stitchville last year. Oh, and yeah, I yeah. And I got this one. And this is called, I know my sister's going to want me to stitch this for her, but we'll just have to negotiate that. Um, <laughs> this is called Cook Up a Storm. It's so oh, cute. cute. Isn't that the cutest thing with all the, with Stuff's... all the, um, does it have fabric too or is it just? It's paper. Oh, oh, that's right. Because it's a Mill Hill. Oh, duh. But isn't that cute? Stitch up a, uh, bake up a, cook, cook up a storm. Cook up a storm. Cook up a storm. One of their sticks. Yeah. Series. And I think that it's just like the artwork, which is similar. Like that artwork is similar to the one that you got before. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. Kind of big blocks of color. Yeah. Really, really cute colors. So and I picked up three um, homespun elegances. Um, 
This one I had um, saved. It's called Avery's Cycling Santa. Again, a, a take on Santa, a different take on Santa with him on a bicycle. Love it. With the candy canes in the basket. Lenny just got that too. Really? Not, not too long ago, yeah. Oh, I love it. Mm -hmm. I love it. And a couple from the Delivering series from Homespun. Um, and this one is Delivering Christmas with the Black Lab. Love it. Love that. Mm. And this one is called Delivering Posies. These are not new. Nope. But uh, did they I've, come with the buttons or no? You got to get the buttons. Uh, from, um, I think I need to go get them, but that's yeah, not. You can get them from big their Etsy. Um, and I have to go ask Stephanie. Do I have this? Do I have this? Yep. And, um, and say, oh, yep. the, nope. the centers of those flowers are French oh. knots. Oh, that'll be so fun, Pam. Oh yeah, colonial knots. It'll be a blast. Dude. Well, this guy, this guy, this guy. <laughs> where am I? I don't know, Pam. Where are you? That guy. The bunny? No. Mr. Hare. This one? Yeah. His tail, which you can't see this far away, is all French knots. It is. Ooh. So I know I have it in me. Yes, you do, Pam. Okay. I believe in you. All right. So what that, did I get what from did Bush, you get Mountain? Bush Mountain? So like I said, I basically kit it up in its entirety, uh, Sweet Land of Liberty. So that's already easy now. And then I got two non-chart things. Um, and both of these things were things that I saw at market that I was like, oh, that's really cute. But I didn't get it because, like, I was whatever. And so I got them. Um, so this is from The Primitive Hair. And this is a thread keep. And I mostly got it because look at that cat. What is he holding? It's like a, I think it's like, I think it's a tree trunk or a mail chute or something. I'm not really sure. I don't <laughs> a know. A tree trunk or a mail chute? I don't know. Take your pick, people. It's whatever. It's, um, but I like it because it's like postcard, mail call, you know. And then up here, the date on it is December 20th, which uh, is two days after my birthday. So, I just think it's really cool. And it's like, look how thick that thing is. It's serious. And then... Um, these are for, were, came out at market as well. So, um, kind of a big thing that was popular at market this year, um, were needlework labels of different varieties, if you will. Um, and this set is from Kathy Barrick and it's called Cats in Early Folk Art. Hmm. So, you get... So, what do you do with those? So, here's what you do, Pam. Let me just tell you. Let me find my favorite one. Oh, I think you get two of each. Okay. So, here's the deal. Okay. Yeah. I'm trying to find my favorite. Okay. This one. We'll do it. Okay. So, here's the deal. So, there's the folk art. Girl, okay. And then down here, this piece was wrought by and completed on title designer Linen and Thread. And then on the back... Oh, peel away pieces, like... It like peels your, off. Yeah. And then you stick it on the back of your fat. Oh, your very project, nice. Okay. Your framed okay. piece. Okay. So, um, they're super cute. And they're all cats of different varieties. Oh, okay. I get it This now. one, This one is... I don't know how I feel about it. No. <laughs> it's like a grown adult man's head <laughs> on a baby. I don't know. <laughs> And then this one's really pretty it's too. Kind of the way folk art is sometimes. This is very true. But so cute and I was just happy they had a couple packages and I bought one and cool. Oh, neat. Okay. So next we'll talk about World and Stitches. Yeah, so uh four of us went in my car yep. over to World and Stitches. Yep. It was Hillary and Heather and you and me. Yep. Right? That and we went right. over to World and Stitches. Yep. Steph had met Randy at Market. I did. And they were having a um Gathering of stitchers in their little stitch room while we were there. And um, we were not there more than 10 minutes. And this lovely lady named Jennifer came up to me. Mm -hmm. And I don't know whether she had seen you Yeah, she, she first, saw me first. But she came up okay. and she, she told us how much she loved our videos. Really nice. And... She said, I made each of you these. I just gave your daughter one. Mm -hmm. So this is mine, and it's kind of a really cool um, tote that 
she lovingly made. Look at these zippers. I didn't see the inside. Yeah. Look at all those variety of zippers. I know. Red, white, and blue zippers. Do you believe it? And then two more little compartments hearts? here. Huh? Are those hearts? Uh, yeah. Oh, it, it says, says never, never forget. forget. Okay. Really cute <laughs> fabric, Jennifer. And then um, show show the one she made you. So this is the one that I got with yep. the pretty blue cats on it. And the po you know, I'm a sucker for a good polka people. Um, and then the inside. So it's like... There's a zipper here, and then there's a zipper here for this part, a zipper here for this, is it here? And, here? and it's like so many secret compartments. I love it. So thank you, Jennifer. She and also made us um, these little um, fobs. Yeah, zipper pull things. To, um, I guess, put around our wrists if we want, or clip them to our shirts. Yeah. Um, to hold our scissors. Perfect. I've seen a lot of people doing this lately. Me too. It's really good for so, retreats. Um, yeah. So there you go. So thank you so much, Jennifer. So Jennifer, so thank you so much. Um, that was just really, really thoughtful of you. Yes. Another gal came up to us. Um, I just dropped my little fob on the floor, but I'll That's get okay. it later. We'll get it. Um, and said how much she liked our, our yeah. uh, floss tube. I, we didn't get your name, but it was lovely meeting you. You and, probably told us. And, um, because we suck. And that was just great. So then um, after that wonderfulness, we proceeded to shop. Yes. And um, Randy has organized all of her charts in those magazine boxes and labeled the magazine boxes. So I did take video of the shop. Do you want me to insert the video of the shop first and then talk about what we got? Or do you want to do it after? If that's up to you. You're the editor. Okay, keep talking. Okay. So let me show you what we got. Um, let me show you what I got. Oh, there's my receipt. Yeah. That's kind of painful. Um, well, let me show you what I found at um, the World in Stitches. Um, one of the smalls, which you'll see in the video if you haven't already, yeah. was um, made out of this chart from um, Homespun Elegance. Elegance again, and it's called Liberty House. And... Um, that was the Andy, small was yes, Andy. Andy actually made it somewhat like this picture, if not completely. But her picks were way cuter because she had red, white, and blue picks coming out of the top. Of yeah, that. yeah. Not but so acorn, when I but. saw that, I went, oh, that's just like the small that Andy made for the exchange. Oh, this is mine. And so I picked that up, Homespun Elegance, Liberty House. Mm -hmm. Love it. Yep. Um, I picked up... Uh, Another little stitcher pattern that I had listed under my favorites because, hello, whales. Yeah. Uh, Moby Dick. <clears throat> Love that. Love it. Love that. Little yeah. stitcher. Moby Dick. That big white whale. See the whale? Love it. Um, I picked up one of Shakespeare's Peddler's Designs. Um, I'm not a big mermaid person, but I like the... Um, I like the sentiment. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like Nantucket Girl. Um, it says, uh, let's see if I can do this. "'Twas Friday morn when we set sail, and we had not gone far from land, when the captain, he spied a lovely mermaid with a comb and a glass in her hand." So and sweet. it's really, really hard to see. I've never seen that before. But you? I've never seen it before. I don't know what the copyright date is. Um, 2011. Oh, 2011. So it's it's a, I've been out a few years. Yeah. And um, I just love the the little pieces that you put over. Yeah, that's really cool. That, that kind of give it a folky. It's cool. Folk art kind of look. Oh, that's funny. And then she said, 30, so the fabric is 32 count stormy skies, Belfast land, and scraps of rue green Belfast. Yeah, so you just kind of yeah, make yeah, it look that's patch, super cool. patchy. Um, I picked up this prairie moon um, that's called Winter Tales. I thought that was kind of cute. Very cute. On the navy, dark dark navy, I think. Oh, 18th century grape by R&R. &R. R &R. so, so it'll be something different because I don't think that's a color anymore. Right. Right, but and I want to see what that thread is for the words. Yeah. Um, it's a needle necessities number one. Okay. Oh. Um, remember the fancy that hats of the month. Yep. Um, sure do. Um, we have so 
as you can see, we have very little framed pieces of spring. There, we have a lot of um, spring patterns that haven't been finished yet, but so I'm always after more spring. And this is uh, for March from Fancy That. Oh my gosh, she's adorable. I think that's pretty darn cute myself with the Excessive. carrots and the and the shamrock it's bunny. It's perfect for March and April. It is. It's um, the March one. Gosh, I guess I was on a homespun kit. Kit. That was a new one they just released at market. Um, I love this. This is Liberty Parade. Mm -hmm. The crows. You're welcome because I found that for you. And the and the flags. I had a favorited. Oh, um, you did. Somewhere. Oh, it's copyright 2015. Yeah, it's not in the release. Oh. Mm -mm. Oh. And I got two pieces of 32 count weeks. Um, and that does not say. So it's probably... it's, it calls this blue silk. Well, that's the color, but like who is who is it by? I'm not sure. Oh, this is definitely weeks. This oh, is yeah, yeah. Aztec red. Love that. Oh, so pretty. Love that. And um, this is 32 count blue silk. I don't know the. I think um, it's his Weigert or whatever. I think it's just his Weigert blue, but it's a real good patriotic colonial blue. Totally. And while I'm at the cash register, um. Found the needle minder I had to have. Obviously. Obviously, though. Right. So, um. And then want me to show what I got? What did you get at the World in, in Stitches? Stitches? Okay. So, I was actually on a hunt <coughs> for, uh, with a needle and thread pattern that Linda Jo has just finished. Because it has a big freaking cat on it. And I was like, why don't I have that pattern? Um, but I didn't find it. But I found this one instead. And this is Hallow's Eve at Raven's Hollow. Cute. Look at that cat right in the broom. I love her pointy skirt so, so much. I don't know why, but I do. Um, okay. And then. I got. Um, we recently had a customer that at Keepsakes. That wanted the entire set of the most recent Loose Feathers Blackbird Designs charts. And so we ordered them for her, and when they came in, I looked at them before I put them in her order bag. And um, I saw this one, and I was like, I need that. Um, because not only does it have a cat on it, it's a blackbird, but the fact that the title of the pattern is She Sights a Bird. So that means it's a female cat, and I love that because my cats are girls, whatever. So oh. this is from the Loose Feather series for the birds, number three, She Sights a Bird. Oh, I've never seen that. Really? Mm -mm. Um, I don't, I, yeah. I mean, I've seen it before, like, and it's in the big. But I've never seen anybody stitching it. Right. In the last few years. But I love it. Well, mm -hmm. it came out in, hold please, 2017. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So this was uh, number three from the series, and they just released number nine. Neat. What is the fabric? Hold oh, please again. 36 count oaken. But I love that cat. It's so cute. Mm -hmm. um, and then... Why don't you pull it all out of the bag so you know... Well, I got... Pam. Okay. I had um, talked to some people, um, like, just before we went to the retreat, whatever, Um about larger Mill Hill kits, like not the baby ornament ones, not like the big Mac Daddy pattern that Pam got, but like, you know, you're like your button and beads Mill Hill, whatever. And because it's like a big piece of perforated paper to hold in your hand. And somebody was like, you just get stretcher bars and you'll be fine. So um, she actually sold stretcher bars. And I said to Randy, I said, what is the perfect size for Mill Hill? So she actually sold me the six inch mini stretcher bar set with the tacks. The tacks. Good. So I am good to go. Right. It was a 2018 goal to do a Mill Hill. Yeah. And it's April 2019. So yeah. still hasn't happened. Hopefully I can get it together. Right. And then they had in the magazine rack things, they had one that was called. Out of print. Oh. So I pulled it. Oh. And I looked at it and I was like, how is this so stuff on it? And I found this from Twisted Threads. And it's, oh my gosh, I'm dying. Because mm. I think it's all over one. No. Yeah, it is. But that's fine. Anyway, okay. It is called Bunny Gingham. Are you freaking serious? Cute. Stop it. 
Right. So, 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 so cute. And I got that. Um, and the only other thing that's in this ridiculous bag are two threads, and it's for a project I'm kidding up for Mania. So, yeah. Done and done. So it was fun <laughs> to see the two shops in Massachusetts. Yeah. Uh, they were both very different, unique. Um, and um, the so, video of the shop. Let's do it now. Yeah. So um, what I did was I went around and um, they sell, like you will find out when you see the video, they sell a little bit of everything. So they do needlepoint, right. yarn, uh, knitting, crocheting, whatever, and cross stitch. And I think they do frame, maybe. Um, but sure. they have a ton of stuff. So, um, and a lot of really beautiful models. And so I wanted to give you guys kind of like a little tour of the world in stitches. Um, and I want to mention before we start the video, I did not do one for Bush Mountain simply because it was a very overcast day and the lighting was really crappy inside the shop mm -hmm. and it would have just like been a waste of both of our times. Right. So, um, that's why there's none of Bush Mountain. Sorry. Right. Um, so we will insert the video tour of the world in stitches here. Um, we are in Littleton, Mass Massachusetts, um, which is like six minutes from the retreat or the hotel, whatever. And there is a cross stitch shop here and it is called The World in Stitches. So we have brought a car full over and there's a ton of people here from the retreat. We're shopping and it is a beautiful shop. And so I wanted to um, take some video of some of their models. They're beautiful. They sell like everything, um, needle art stitches because it's the world stitch. so there's needlepoint there is cross stitch there is knitting crocheting all of the things so there's a lot in here and so i'm gonna show you around okay all right let's go
Okay. All right. So um, this is the point that you've all been patiently waiting for. Yes. How many comments did we get on last week's video where you had to tell us in order to be entered in the giveaway? Yeah. Um, you know, we talked about this already, right? What you liked about us and our channel mm -hmm. and what your favorite moment was, mm -hmm. but it exceeded 500 comments. Right. So instead of what you might have seen in other giveaway videos from us, where Stephanie has a list in Excel, mm -hmm. over 500 wasn't going to have a lot of names. So you decided brilliantly to do what? So um, I had seen on other YouTube channels doing giveaways that they had used a website that was called YouTube Random Comment Picker. So I started doing, starting, I started making the Excel spreadsheet the way that I usually do with our giveaways. Right. And I noticed two things. One, there was a shit ton of comments. And two, there were very few, if any, comments that didn't say yeah. what their favorite thing was. So right. like... If 99% of the comments right. were entering the giveaway, right. then, like, why am I killing myself over this? Yeah, sorting through. Right. So, the I found Very the, few people who did not right. talk about exactly. the giveaway. Exactly. Like, the, the chance that their comment right. would get picked was very slim to none. Right. So, what I ended up doing was I found the YouTube random comment picker website. Right. And... Um, so what you do is you copy the URL of the specific video you're looking for, which was episode 90, put it in there, and then you say, get YouTube comments, and it grabs them all, and then it calculates them whatever. And then you hit pick winner, and then it's like, Shh, and it picks one for you. And so that's how we did it, and it was a great idea. It ended up being a better idea than I thought it was going to be because I could read the comments out. Because the comments, like I said in the beginning of this video, the comments on last week's video are amazing. Yeah. So whether it was like one line or two lines or six paragraphs long, they were all amazing. And a, what a great variety of different things that you guys yeah. thought of, remembered. Fantastic. Worked out yes. perfectly. So we're ready to insert that video here. Yes. Here. Everyone. Um, so like we just explained, we're going to be doing, uh, the 6,000 subscriber giveaway a little bit differently. So, but however, for the case of honesty, I want to show you how all this works. Plus, in case anyone wants to know how the YouTube random comment picker, uh, website works, this is how it works. So, um, so this is obviously episode 90. Pam and Steph, just keep stitching. That's me. That's bam. And then I go down to hit share. And then that is the URL for this video. And you hit copy. It says link copy to clipboard. Sorry if I'm making anybody seasick, but sorry about that. And then up here, this is the YouTube random comment picker website. So, and then you enter your YouTube video URL. Okay, and filter duplicate users. So what that means is exactly what it says. So if somebody commented twice, they're not entered twice. So that makes sense. And then you click get YouTube comments. 500 unique commenters. Excellent. Okay, so now what we do is scroll down here, start raffle and pick winner. So. The first item that we're giving away um, is the fabric. And like we said last week in episode 90, um, the winner of the fabric will get to choose um, the count and type of fabric. So if you're a 14 count Ada Stitcher, cool. If you're a 32 count Lugana Stitcher, cool. If you're a 40 count Linen Stitcher, cool. Whatever it is, don't matter to us. Um, but you will get a fat quarter of your choice of fabric. And so we will do that now. Ready? That's my favorite part. All right, Inez Harrell. And she says, Hello, ladies. I have so many favorite memory. A few weeks ago, my Google and you were talking to each other. When you were reading a letter telling how to 
cross-stitch, it's the little things that trigger a memory. When you sing or tell a funny story, remember, oh, Christmas tree, oh, Christmas tree, your ornaments are history. I remember that was funny. Oh, don't forget, bunny butt. We got to keep the people informed, Pam. Thanks, ladies, for keeping me informed. I have lost a lot this past year, but you and Flosstube has blessed me tremendously. I know I'm not the first. I won't be the last to say happy 6,000 and just keep stitching, stitching on. Well done. Inez. Congratulations, Inez. And we will put you down for your fat quarter of fabric. Okay, the next item up for grabs is our thread pack, if you will. So these are three of Pam's favorite colors and three of my favorite colors. And so we will pick a winner for that now. And this is cool because all you got to do is hit Pick another winner. Judy Badger. Yes, turkeys can swim. Thank you, Judy. They are not very good at it, but they can turkey paddle. Oh my gosh, I want to see a turkey paddle. Favorite episode is when Steph dropped the F-bomb. Oops. That was one of like, your highlights. People love that time I said the F-word on accident. Congratulations, Judy. We will put you down for Pam and Steph's threads. Item number three. Actually, technically, they're both items. Numbers threes. Um, are uh, two of our favorite patterns from market this year. So this is Liberty and Justice for All by Summerhouse Stitch Works. <coughs> Excuse me. And this is Pam's favorite pattern. And then hands-on design. Meow Block Party. Which is obviously Steph's favorite pattern. Okay, let's pick a winner. Tara Lewis. Banana pants. You guys make me laugh so hard. Well, good, Tara. Because we're funny. Congratulations, Tara. We will put you down for the patterns. All right. Item number four is two packages of John James Tapestry Petite Needles, size 26 and size 28. And then this really pretty pair of blue handled scissors, complete with scissor sheath. Let's see who gets these. Peggy Gallagher. I enjoy both of you and your interactions. I appreciate your different styles in stitching, but most of all, your love of the craft. Your YouTube was the very first one I ever watched, and I got such a laugh from watching Steph open her Mountain Dew. Thanks, Peggy. We will put you down for your needles and scissors. Congratulations. All right, item number five is the Snag Nabbit and a chart clip, two of our favorite tools. And let's see who gets those. Stitching Sunshine Ray. Your Fiona obsession is what drew me to your channel. Oh, that's really cool. I fell in love with that tiny hippo because of you, but I stayed with you because you are good company. Thanks, Ray. That's really cool. I didn't, I didn't know that my hippo obsession would draw people in, but awesome. Congratulations. We will put you down for that. And the last but certainly not least is this absolutely beautifully stunning project bag. Made by our finisher at Keepsakes, Jan, with the little uh, zipper pull, I guess, is called Well Behaved Women Rarely Make History. And this is a vinyl front bag, as you can see from the glare. And then this is the outside fabric. Oh, so pretty. All right, let's give it away. Soccer Mom 2001. Congrats on your subscribers. My favorite moments are when Pam says, We the pee pee, and when you both say, Happy finishes, everyone. Fantastic. That's also a fan favorite. Happy finishes, everyone. Well, happy giveaways, everyone. So, congratulations to all of our winners. 
And I will send you back to regularly scheduled programming now. Bye. So congratulations, yeah. first of all, to six all winners. of our six winners. So here's what you need to do. Pam's email address is listed in the description box below. All of you need to email your mailing address to Pam. Right. And we will get your items shipped out to you. Right. Our first winner of the fabric, right. Inez, the information we need from you is not only your shipping address, excuse me, but also what type and count fabric you like. So like I said in the video, if you are a 14 count Ada stitcher, right. awesome. Just let us know that. If you're 20 count even weave, great. Whatever. Just whatever your preferred <coughs> fabric is. Yeah, what your fabric preferences are. And then we will get a fat quarter and we will ship it to you. Yeah. Um, and so thank you all so very much. Like we had this conversation a lot this past weekend about how like, you know, our, making videos is great and all that. But like without each and every one of you listening to us talk about ridiculousness yeah. for two hours yeah. every week. Um, we would be nothing. We'd just be sitting here talking to ourselves and we do that every day anyway. So yeah. Um, so thank you all so much for riding along on this crazy train with us since the solarium. Yeah. We appreciate you. Uh, absolutely. So um, <laughs> that's pretty much heading toward the close of this week's episode. And yeah. we know it's extra long. Um, they love it. But... Yeah, we're it. doing the best we can. We pared it down. Yeah. We want to briefly talk about our plans. Mm -hmm. If you watch Jen Lee on FlossTube, um, Quirks and Stitches mm -hmm. on Instagram, you know, she and her mom did a uh, hashtag 24 hours of cross stitch a while back. It was a huge success, and they had a lot of fun doing it, and they're doing it again. Mm -hmm. And it's going to start roughly around 4-ish. Eastern Standard Time. Um, Jen and her mom are going to start 4-ish Eastern Standard Time on Friday. Mm -hmm. Go till 4 p.m. on Saturday. Mm -hmm. We plan to participate. Um, and um, uh, Friday is also first Friday at Keepsakes, mm -hmm. our shop. And uh, so we're going to be stitching from um, the time when the shop opens on Friday Till Saturday afternoon. It's gonna, there will be pizza. Let's be lots just, of pizza. <laughs> lots of pizza. And red box. And red box and um coffee and Mountain Dew. And Mountain Dew mm -hmm. and Diet Coke and we're gonna be there. So yes. we're gonna try our best to do the twenty four hours straight. Um I am not making any promises because I like to sleep. I just would like to see if I can do it. So, I think you can, Pam. I really so, think you can. Um, I believe there, in you. There will be nappies afterwards. Nappies. Um, and um, we can sleep. Are we going to talk about this today? Uh, yeah, just really quick. All right. So that's 24 hours of cross stitch. Stitch in at the shop into the evening. Slash next day. Stop by. Do say whatever. hi. Yeah. Blah, blah, Please blah. Do. And then really quickly, I wanted to say uh, three really quick things about StitchCon. The first thing is that our very first uh, spirit wear sale for StitchCon 2019 is now over. There will be two more sales, one in April, one in May, um, but we will announce those dates as they get closer. So don't think you missed your opportunity completely because you haven't. Number two, April 1st has come and gone. So what that means is that there are no guaranteed refunds for StitchCon. If you have to cancel for whatever reason, we totally understand that. Life happens all day long. We get it. However, you are only guaranteed a refund if and only if we can fill your spot. So, we will be in contact with you if you send us an email and you're like, my sister's having a wedding and she just told me about it and I can't come. That's fine. We will do our best to fill your spot. And if we can, then we'll give you a refund back because they have to pay to come in too. So, that would be dumb for us to keep yours too. So... Just know that moving forward, there's no guaranteed refunds after April 1st. Okay? Great. Okay. Lastly, is that, because um, I'm insane, um, Monday night when we got home, I started updating the StitchCon website. So, if you go to www.stitch-con.com, and then you click on the 2019 Floss Tubers tab up at the top of the page, you will see a very, 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 very long list of 85 different floss tube channels that are all going to be represented at, at StitchCon. StitchCon this year. Yes. So if you're coming, do the binge watching now. 
if you're not coming and you want to see who's coming, go check it out. Um, it's not a private page or anything like that. So um, just go check it out and just like smile at how um, many freaking floss keepers are coming. I'm so pumped. Yeah. Um, and so see if check on your favorites, see if they're coming, um, and find maybe a new favorite channel. There you go. So that's all for StitchCon. Okay, uh, one more thing for StitchCon. If you're a floss tuber and you are coming to StitchCon and you haven't answered my email, please do so ASAP. Yes. We have a printing deadline we'd like to meet. Yes. And uh, that's all I'm going to say about that. Um, and that's going to do it. It is going to do um, it. We've got an <laughs> hour and a half of us sitting here plus all the inserts and add-ons at the end. So, yeah. So, uh, thanks for sticking with us through all the crazy. Yeah, and sure. um, we'll be back very, very soon. Yes. Like on three Sunday. days. Um, we might be The Walking Dead. Yeah, That's we'll cool. be The Walking Dead, but we'll be back on Sunday yeah. afternoon. So, um, watch for that. Um, lots of stuff to talk about, and we got it all in. Yes. And thank you all so much for every single person that was at yes. the Yankee Foster Weekend and for. All the amazing comments. Two Ohio girls at yeah. your event. We yeah. So much love. Um, as Lynette said, when I asked her if we could come, she said, You can take, you know, uh, take, you the, girl take the girl out, out of New England, England, but you can, can never take the New England out of the girls. So yeah, sure. um, it was a blast. Mm -hmm. um, we can't wait for next year. We can't wait for next year. I told Lynette, I said, You started something now, girl. So. Yeah, exactly. All right. Before we start bawling our eyes out. Right. Um, we're going to close for now, and we'll see you Sunday. Okay. I'm Pam. And I'm Stephanie. And this is Just, Just Keep, Keep Stitching. Bye.